so I wanted to show you, tell, talk to you today about what to do if you get double flare plugs stuck in your ears. So first things first is don't panic. So double flare plugs, if you've got it stuck in your ear, what it is is you've only just about been able to stretch your ear over the edge of the flare and it's stuck in there because what happens is if you overstretch your ear, as soon as your ear goes into that saddle part, the ear, can, the, ear the ear will start to swell and the hole will shrink down to the size it's used to be in. Um, but also because you've forced the plug in, your ear is going to swell and that makes it really tight. Now, what you need to do first of all is don't panic. Panicking is the worst thing you can do because all you're going to do is damage your ear trying to force it back out. So you need to just sit and take a deep breath. Just relax. Remember, it's not permanent. You can fix this and you need to calm down. Once you calm down, what you need to do is, first of all, just check your ears all right. Make sure it's not all blown out or anything. It's, if you've not ridiculously forced it, it's, your ear should be fine. It'll just be a bit red and a bit tight. And then what you need to do is, it's going to take about two days for this. Um, so what you do is for two days, just leave the plugs in your ears, okay? And I'm, I'm not going to touch this one because I've had my conch pierced. Um, what you do is you'll, as you're sitting there watching telly, just play with your ear, massage it, rub it. Be gentle, don't over pull, but just massage your ear, get that skin nice and warm and the blood circulation going. Okay, and if you've got double flare stone plugs in, it will work even easier because the weight of the stone plugs will generally stretch the ear just a little. But you give it a few days, a couple of days, normally two or three, I find. Like when I've got plugs stuck before, it's two or three days. And then do that for a couple of days where you're just playing with your ear, keep it clean, get cotton buds and salt water and just keep cleaning it, make sure it's nice and clean. Keep playing with your ear and then on the second or third day go and have a nice long walk hot shower well hot as you can stand it make sure the water goes over your ears get the ears nice and warm and um, they might look a little bit red but as long as your water's not too hot you're not going to hurt your ears you're just making the the skin's going to go pink because you're messing with your ears and you've warmed them up and you're getting that blood circulation going the heat and the water will soften your ears. Um, you can also get a cup of warm water. Do not have boiling hot water because you will burn your ears, obviously, and that's not going to fix the problem. So what you can do is um, get some hot water from your tap in a cup. Just let it cool a little bit so it's, it feels nice and warm when you, when you put your finger in there, but it's not going to burn the skin. And then you take the cup hold it next to you so imagine I've got a cup in my hand and you sit there with your ear soaking in that warm water same way as if you were giving a um, doing like a sea salt soak or you can just do this in the shower just get the shower head and have the water running on your ear for a bit when your ear feels nice and soft and supple you can then try and pop your plugs out um, if you find that they don't pop out don't panic just wait another couple of days by the end of depending on how stretchy your ears are but by the i'd say by the end of the week definitely i find it's normally two days and everything's calmed down not popping back out um because i've done it before where i've got plugs stuck in my ears um and it took a couple of days of me just massaging my ears um and doing some sea salt soaks and stuff to be able to get them out um, but it shouldn't be any longer than a week um, and you'll find that you'll be able to pop them back out because what you've got to remember is you were able to get them in so you will be able to get them out but you just need to wait for your ear to calm down and then obviously over time your ears loosen and stretch a little bit anyway um, as the um, stretch that you've done heals um, if you're wearing stone plugs, um, the weight of the stone plugs will gradually stretch your piercing slightly anyway. So eventually you'll find that they'll just pop out one day. Um, if you've got 
screw back tunnels stuck in your ear. So say you've got a pair of acrylic tunnels, they're externally threaded like this. So this little ring screws on the back. So I'm going to screw that on. Now, if you've accidentally cross-threaded that and it's stuck, don't panic because it's easier to get past it with get them out if they're acrylic than if they're metal. If it's a if it's a surgical steel plug, then you're probably going to need to go to a piercer because they'll have to get a couple of pliers and really try and unscrew the, um, the screw back. Acrylic ones, if you get a pair of pliers like this, you can break the ring and get it back out. So as you can see, that popped off really easy. And all I've done is I've snipped, can you see where it's broke there? And that's enough to pop it off. Um, and as you can see, that wasn't hard or anything. What you what you'd need to do is if you've got that in your ear, if you bring your ear forward like this so you can see the back and then you can go here and snip. You do have to be very careful, you don't want to slip and hurt your ears. It's unlikely with these sort of plugs that your ear is going to stretch and you'll be able to pop it out eventually because the um, flare is quite big and there's no weight to these so there's nothing that's stretching your ear. You, you're just going to have to wait longer or you can snip it with a pair of little wire snips. These are little jewellery making wire snips and I find they do the trick as you can see as you saw the back flew off. Um, if you get metal ones stuck then you need a pair of pliers on the front to hold it, a pair of pliers on the ring that's stuck and you're going to have to really try to unscrew that back um, which not always successful um, if you go to a piercer though they should have a few tools and things lying around that they can use to remove things like that you can try adding some lube to the thread to try and encourage it to loosen um, the important thing is don't keep pulling it and trying to force it out um, because you don't want to damage your ears um, if you've got internally threaded jewelry stuck like this one then what you're going to have to do is use the same technique for it being a double flare plug. So just pretend it's a double flare plug. You're going to have to spend a few days just playing with it, keeping it nice and clean, do sea salt soaks. And then after a few days of playing with it, when you feel like your ears calm down a bit, because your ear will go really tight at first, and then eventually you'll be able to get past that little flare. It'll just take a bit longer if it's a lightweight one like this. Um, what else? If you get um, silicon plugs, if they get stuck in your ear, which they do dry out your ear, and you can have again getting them back out. Um, what you can do is just push down and get a bit of your lube in there that you use for your ears, some jojoba oil. Um, or use cocoa butter, whatever you use for your ears. Um, make sure there's some lube on the on the uh, silicon tunnel, and it'll help you pop them back out. I do find these ones; um, these make my ears feel sore after a couple of days. They, they really dry out my ears. The ones I find are better, are like the ear skin type. These are nice to sleep in. Um, and don't cause any trouble and they're nice and easy to take out and I find these ones because they've got like more of a shiny surface than these These ones don't tend to dry out my ear and don't tend to stick to my ear as much If at all whereas these ones if I put them in for a couple of days Take them out and I can feel like I have to go It's like really like rubbing against my ears to get them out um, So what else? Anything else? Metal screw backs, double flared, internally threaded, externally threaded acrylic. I think that's it. Um, and also with wooden plugs, these are my wooden plugs that I took out today. I've had these in all week. Um, you'll find with wooden plugs that your ears might will dry out 
um, and you might go to take your wooden plug out and it feels like it's stuck again don't panic you just need to put some lube on so what you do is you push the plug forward in your ear put some lube on go like this a couple of times and turn it if you can and you'll find your ear and go and pop out it's just these um, dry out your ears um, these are also great for preventing your ears from smelling um, although your ears shouldn't smell if you're washing them but these do I find my ears don't feel like in the summer they don't feel like sweaty or anything with uh, wooden plugs in um, but you have to try uh, test out wooden plugs because um, some people have allergies to some of the woods and things so swings and roundabouts um, what else can I tell you I think that's basically it so look after your ears don't force in door flare plugs keep your ears clean um, people say oh stretched ears smell well they only smell if you don't wash them um, I wash mine every morning in the shower it's fine um, and keep them moisturized and you should be fine just be patient when you want to put um, double flare jewelry in and don't rush it if it looks like if it feels like it's not gonna fit don't force it because it will cause you more hassle in the long, long run um, and that's it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye for now.